Hey guys, it's Renee from Keep Simple Stuff. Today I felt like experimenting with things because I just was looking for this product, I couldn't find it, and I'm going to try to make my own if I can. And I found this needle, and then I'm going to use my cutter, and I'm going to be using this. I don't really know what it is, I don't really know what I got it from. It's one of those things that is just, you know, hanging around your house. But I thought about it and you can make a kind of snake out of polymer clay and that could work for the purpose that we're looking for. So it's going to be easier that way. So I'm just going to try to cut it like until here. So I'm just going to try to give this cutter some heat. And if you're underage, please don't do this alone. Ask your mom or dad to do it. Since this is plastic and I just escaped some heat, it's gonna be easier for me to cut this through this whole thing. And it's pretty much there. So that's that. This is what I have so far. So then we're just going to be smoothing all the excess from the cut until you're happy with how it looks. And we're going to be painting it or decorating it. But the, the important part is for you to just smooth the rough part. It's not going to be like hurting your, your hands when you're working with it. And then I'm going to take my needle tool and I'm going, well, my needle at this point, and I'm just going to buff it just a bit. I mean, because I need this to be pointy, but not too pointy too, because I'm not going to use it as a needle anymore. So that's what I have at this point. I wasn't able to film this because I was working too fast and my camera was going to be too shaky. So basically what I did is first buffed on top to get rid of that really pointy end. And then I went to the sides like this and I just started buffing kind of smooth every single like side. Of it and then just go to the top okay so we are now going to be back on that fire and I'm going to explain to you what I'm going to do because I don't really know if because of the angle I'm going to be able to do that I'm going to grab my pliers like this hold them really tight put them on the fire and I'm just going to as this is really warm this is going to go inside this because I need this to be to be in the middle and as straight as I can go and just to pull this so it will be just like stuck in there. So please, if you're underage or something, ask your parents to do it for you. If you're they're like old enough, take care. You can leave it like this, but I'm just going to paint it. I will be using two brushes and the big one is just to paint on this and the small one is going to be for the roses and the details. And I'm going to be using this magenta. I am also going to be using some nail polish because I don't have green acrylic and this is Leave Me Alone by Nail Ultra Pro. Okay guys, so I kind of changed my mind and I'm going to paint this black and I'm just using acrylic paint and I'm just going to give it a ton of coats. So once I'm done painting the whole thing, I'm going to put, you'll be using one of, the, one of these blocks, grab my pliers, I'm going to grab my tool with my pliers and I'm going to just stick in there so I don't touch the tool when I'm trying to do that. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to mix my paint with some water on it. I'm not an expert on drawing flowers but I'm just going to go and kind of draw a circle but my swirl is going to be like sort of wavy and you can put it as big or as tiny as you want I'm going here once and on the top I'm just going to go ahead and do this and I'm going to give this my flower sack second coat over the same line following the same line so now this is set and dry and I'm just going to put my leaves like so I'm just going to paint two per flower. Oh, I forgot to mention that I, I kind of painted the end in there. So just kind of like triangles, not really, but well, it's more like putting, pushing and then pulling towards the end. 
My lips are dry and I thought of having some 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 to lips themselves. Not going to go like super detail on it, just putting a tiny tiny drop I guess of gold just so it shines a bit more. And then after I'm going to be applying my top coat, which is one of those uh, spray top coats. And I'm going to be doing that outside and I'll show you what it looks like after. Now you have your own dining tool or needle tool or scrap tool, whatever you want to call it. You can use this type things as for, you know, cookie decorating stuff as well as nail art. Because you have a pretty fine point in there. And just to compare, this is my new tool. And this is a cocktail stick. My new needle tool has a pointier end. You can actually go ahead and kind of... Um, custom your painting as well, doesn't have to be flowers if this look like flowers at all but it's pretty steady so thank you so much for your time watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe if you find this interesting and for more DIYs take care, I'll talk to you